the real uh, story of Farmingdale begins in 1687 when a gentleman from the town of Huntington moved over across the town line to Oyster Bay and uh, settled in what is now Farmingdale. Uh, his name was Thomas Powell. He made an arrangement with the uh, neighboring Native Americans, the uh, Sacatogs, the Massapequas, and the Matinecocks, uh, 1695, and he defined uh, sort of a, a deed for this whole property that he had purchased, about uh, 15 square miles, and that's what's called the Beth Page Purchase. And from that, we have not only Farmingdale, but Plain Edge, Beth Page, Plain View, parts of Melville, and what is now East Farmingdale also. In 1841, when the Long Island Railroad came to town, uh, it was extended east from Hicksville. That's the, really the beginning of, of uh, what is current day Farmingdale. And then, of course, came uh, Lawrence Sperry about uh, 1917 and established a small aircraft factory right in the village. The uh, aircraft industry became the, the dominant industry. Grumman was at, in Farmingdale for six or seven years. And of course, during World War II, that was a tremendous industry. And in 1912, the uh, state of New York established an agricultural school in Farmingdale. The name of the uh, institution has changed over the years as, it, as its mission, as its chief purpose, mainly now College of Technology but it's Farmingdale State College and it's uh, observing its uh, centennial 100th anniversary this year. Farmingdale's growth has been slow but steady uh, over the years and changing to the needs of the uh, larger community. A hundred years ago, if we weren't outside this building we're in, uh, you would have seen trolleys passing. The Cross Island trolley line ran between Huntington and Amityville. After World War II, there was a great eastward migration on Long Island, and of course Levittown is the best example of that. But that kicked off a surge of housing development in this area. Retailing is not the same as it was back in 1950s and 60s. The suburban shopping malls, that was the beginning of the sapping the strength of the downtown Farmingdale uh, shops. Small shop owners could not keep up with the, uh, the uh, uh, low prices. They couldn't afford to stay in business if doing that. Downtown will change, but uh, uh, I think that it has to meet the needs to, of uh, more of the young couples in terms of things to do, places to eat. If you meet a, a need here, you can certainly uh, s still have a, a thriving business. And I hope that more uh, entrepreneurs come along with that idea.